I think it was the 12th night, last night though, so really all these decorations should be down. Have to get a move on tonight. I love this end of afternoon look in the winter when it's a blue sky and it's starting to turn pink. Um, even if it's a, it's a cold day, especially if it's a cold day. It's a bit sad though, we've got all these dead Christmas trees abandoned on the street. It's 20 past four and uh, the park is going to close any time now. But in my experience, they tend to be a bit tardy in closing it. I've been sitting at my desk all day, so I just wanted to come out and stretch my legs. And um, I thought I'd take the opportunity to tell you um, a bit about uh, my plans for uh, this YouTube channel and for HowToGetFluent.com in the coming year. And to reflect a bit on how uh, language learning has gone and how things have gone with the site and the channel uh, in the course of 2017. First though, some swans. You can just make out there's a signet at the front, pretty large now. Uh, plumage is starting to change colour, but these actually made the local paper when they were born uh, in the spring. Uh, the first time that signets have been born in this park uh, in recent memory. So for me, first a bit about uh, my own language learning. It was really a year of two halves. And the first half I was focused on my Russian C1 written exam, the TRKI third certificate, and we talked quite a bit about work on that. Pretty intensive, but with a regular routine, focus, a lot of corrective feedback, I managed to pass, unlike uh, 2016, which meant that I've now got the whole certificate and I'm a certified third certificate Russian, Russianist, if you like, which was a great feeling. What about you? Did you have any big goals for 2017? Did you work in the middle distance, set maybe a three month uh, goal period? That's something I like to do, so it's not so far away that you just postpone things, um, but it's not so close that uh, you can't get much of substance done. So remember, it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint, as we always say, this language learning game. The second half of the year for me was uh, much more relaxed and it was a bit experimental. I was working on some Icelandic, basic Icelandic for the course I did in Reykjavik, which was just a three afternoon taster before the polyglot conference there at the end of August. And that was real fun. I got a taste for the language. Didn't get that far in practical terms. I didn't particularly like the online automated uh, computer Icelandic course that we were asked to try out in advance. Um, but, you know, it's important, I think, to keep trying new methods, and I, I'm a traditionalist at heart, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't uh, never say never in terms of, you know, trying out uh, new language methods. That was, that was how I was thinking, at least. Uh, what about you? Do you like trying out new things, uh, or are you a traditionalist too? Let me know. Uh, let me know. And finally, it was, you know, steady as she goes with my Basque, so I didn't cover that much on the site. I wrote about it in my roundup in May as to how the year was going, um, but I've been continuing to have lessons uh, in that language too. Uh, one thing was that I, I did give up doing the um, doing the classes, the group classes, when they resumed this autumn, and I focused on using teachers on Italkai, uh, which I found the most efficient at this stage. I'm still sort of lower intermediate with the Basque, but it, it, it's a long game again. I've been learning now for several years. Uh, sometimes I feel good about it, sometimes uh, it's pretty frustrating, but it'll be more of the same, I think, with the Basque for the first half of 2018. Twenty seventeen was a great year for travel for me. A lot of it uh, to do with my day job in the the law firm. Uh, I was sent to Athens and uh, also to Germany, and I was also in Dubai and over in Singapore and in Hong Kong. And I went on to Beijing on holiday afterwards. So I vlogged already from Beijing. And I'm planning to do a vlog on my experiences in Dubai as well. As for Iceland, well, I've done a vlog already from the Polyglot Conference 
and there's another one coming up uh, about the Icelandic language from a Welsh perspective. It will be my first time actually vlogging in Welsh. I also covered the polyglot gathering in Bratislava and look out soon for a smash and grab language and culture type video uh, very very soon actually on on that so while i had an exciting year with the language and uh, the site continued to develop uh, i do feel i sort of failed in my ambition at the beginning of the year to do more about general language learning advice and tips um, uh, on the site so i did cover early on the gold list method uh, for vocabulary learning sort of spaced repetition system which is low tech and very effective they say I still haven't probably tried it out myself but I understand it now and I also wrote a piece about reading that's the introduction to a series there'll be more following and both of those have been quite well read so there's certainly a demand I think to cover more of that sort of thing the problem though for me I think with the the blogging it has been uh, time you know it's always a question of priorities and because I kept setting myself these uh, very clear and quite ambitious language learning goals there hasn't been as much time for working on the site so um, my plan for the first chunk of the new year is actually not to have any ambitious language learning plans uh, unlike last year and the year before and the year before that to be honest um, but just to keep things in maintenance mode with my languages and uh, to, to really focus much more on more regular and more generally applicable content in the site. And that brings me to this YouTube channel. And uh, so far I've really been posting uh, reportage style vlogs from the different language enthusiasts events and also um, sort of travel pieces, the, the Smash and Grab series. And I'm going to continue doing both of those. I've had great feedback on them. You know, that's the bell. I think they're about to shut the park now. They really are. The van is coming. You can see it there. There's still a lot of runners and footballers around though. And so we better head for the exit. So, um, but I also want to, to experiment with genres. I want to do more pieces to camera, um, you know, from home about language learning methods and techniques in general. Um, I've cut my teeth on that now in that I have um, just released a five part email video course, which you can get the, the links underneath. Um, and that's called Discover How to Get Fluent. It's about how to get started efficiently learning a language. So I'll be doing much more on methods and techniques actually to camera on the channel. And the other thing I want to do is to try and um, sort of establish a link between us much more directly by more informal uh, short piece vlogs uh, of, a, of a diary type nature uh, like this one. So um, those are the approaches I'm suggesting to, to take this year. Um, if you've got any comments or ideas is, then let me know underneath and um, you know thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the bell uh, so that you know when new stuff appears and give us a thumbs up and thanks a lot and Snorvim uh, Gordon happy new year happy so I just warm happy Christmas if you're celebrating it today quick Thanks a lot, see you.